everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm styling my old clothes so that they feel new this is a mini series that I have on this channel all about really appreciating what you're so lucky to already own working with the closet that's already in front of you and restyling things using inspiration that you find online in order to kind of fall back in love with your clothing it's something I've been doing for years and it's really helped me cultivate style over just fashion and really appreciate what I have and practice my Mindfulness. So I'm not constantly shopping and not constantly feeling the need to get new 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 and instead really appreciating what I already have So I'm gonna shop my closet in this video and share some inspiration images that I collected and then show you how I take those from inspiration to real life so let's get started. This first outfit comes from a relatively new Instagram discovery for me. I really, really, really love her style. It's a beautiful blend of classic but modern, and there's always a thread of her personal style shining through. So I love it because I can get inspiration but still take things and translate them into my own wardrobe. So for this outfit, I loved it because she's got a printed midi blue dress, and I love blue, as you know, and I have that midi blue dress that's got the print on it. I guess it's white with technically a blue print, but I've had that for a couple months. I wore it all through the spring and summer, and now I'm transitioning it into cold weather by layering over and under it. So I loved this for inspiration for that. And I really like that it's a basic combination. She took the dress, layered a sweater over it, belted it for a great pop, added tights, I think, I can't really tell because her dress is kind of long, and then lace up boots. Now for me, I played around with the blue color and wore a blue cardigan, but I contrasted it with a black belt. This is a vintage one that I picked up earlier this year and I loved it for this because it's got that gold but also the texture. I think it's a beautiful combination and I think it looks beautiful against the blue in the sweater. And then for um, the bottom part, I put tights on because I didn't want to be cold. And instead of my lace-up ankle boots, I went with my black ankle boots with a teeny bit of a heel and the pointed toe just because I wanted something that was going to be cohesive in the color. And my ankle boots that have the laces are a dark brown kind of burgundy color. So I wanted to keep it all monochrome. And I really liked the way that it all looked. This is a very wearable outfit. It's something I can wear with my new Chelsea boots. I didn't want to include those because they are kind of a new purchase. So I wanted to make sure I was using really, really old pieces. And I've had these ankle boots for, I think, two, almost three years now. And they're beautiful. So I really liked how all of this looked. I was very happy with it. So for this next outfit, I really wanted to focus on my faux fur jacket that I bought last year. I tend to re-wear it kind of exactly the same way. I've got like three outfits that I rotate, and I, while that's fine, I wanted to kind of revitalize how I feel about it so that I've got something fresh to turn to. I have a cold weather trip planned um, coming up, and I really want to be able to wear this for that and not feel like it's kind of redundant. So I found this image that I had saved from last year, I believe. It's just one of my favorite accounts. Beautiful beautiful, beautiful style, really classic, but still modern. And I loved this outfit because it's super polished, but still it felt relaxed and cozy. So I don't have a lot of these pieces and my faux fur jacket looks very different than hers. So rather than try to copy it exactly, I focused on the styling points. So I love that it's got the faux fur jacket, but that color is echoed in other pieces and then she's got the contrasting shoes. So really, when it comes down to it, there are like three colors that she has in the outfit, and you know how I love the three color rule when it comes to outfits. So for my own outfit, I really highlighted that. So I ultimately kept the top and the bottom in the same color, and I went with something really dark because I liked how that contrasted with the faux, faux fur coat. And it's got that kind of grayish color in it, and that contrast was beautiful. And then I went with my lace-up ankle boots. I liked these because the color is dark enough, but still kind of a little bit elevated kind of in a way, so it doesn't feel too, too dark. And since I do have a dark top and a dark bottom, I didn't want to drag the whole thing down too much. And I also think a pair of lace-up boots with maybe some texture would be beautiful for this outfit. And then I finished it with sunglasses because sunglasses always look good. So for this next outfit, I wanted to style that same black cashmere turtleneck sweater. I've had this in my wardrobe for a few years now. It's from Grana and it's really, really nice, nice and cozy. It's not too snug, but it's not also too big. So I find that it's a very versatile piece, but I've been wanting to think of new ways to wear it that doesn't feel like my same old, same old, which tends to be turtleneck, blazer, 
pants or jeans. So instead of going too far out of my comfort zone, I found this image from Brittany Bathgate, who I love. I think she's got fantastic style. And I decided to play with that in order to give it just a little bit of a modern take. So I've got my turtleneck and then my lighter wool jacket. This is something I picked up at the beginning of this year. So it's not that old, but it's still a piece that I've been styling for a bit now. And I love the contrast of this, the dark and the light. I also love that this is a cool toned blazer because I think that it plays with the other colors really well. So then I stuck with my dark wash denim. I like that they're a little bit thin, but not totally skinny because it helps play with the proportions a little bit better. And then I tucked it in to help define everything and not make me feel like I was drowning too much. And then for shoes, I love how she's pairing those wingtips or brogues as some of you call them with socks. And I love how that line looks underneath the slimmer jeans. I think it's really, really classic, but still kind of modern in a way. And it feels fresh for me because that's not something I typically do. I tend to wear no-show socks or even no socks on some days. And I like how I can have my ankles out, but it's not the most practical as it starts to get really cold. And I've been really wanting to think of new ways to restyle my wingtips. And this is perfect. And for this last outfit, I really wanted to play around with a blazer layered underneath an overcoat. It's something I've been trying to do in my own closet more as it's starting to get colder, but I'm almost missing the mark on some outfits. So I wanted to take this opportunity to practice. And I found this image Image, which I love. I love how she's got the high neck kind of ruffled collared shirt, which made me think of my Cezanne shirt that I've been styling nonstop this fall. And then I also love how she's layered it under similar tones. So since I don't have these exact pieces, I focused a lot on the colors and the undertones to give me a similar look. So I've got the white shirt, which is a crisp white. It's well, I would say actually a little subtly off-white, but it does look crisp white under most colors. So that was a good starting point. And so using that as a base, I wanted to keep the other tones a little bit more muted. So I put on my vintage plaid jacket blazer, and then I belted it with a brown belt. I've had this belt for years. A good belt will last you a very long time. I highly recommend it. And then I put over that my curated camel coat. And the reason I chose this one versus my other camel coat is because I loved how the colors went. I like how the curated coat kind of warmed it up a little bit, but wasn't too warm. It just played really nicely together. And because I can't see what bottoms she's wearing in this picture, I went with standard dark wash denim and then uh, brown ankle boots. I love how all of these colors look together and it pulled the cool and the slightly warm beautifully. So it balanced it all really nicely. And then to finish it all off, I wore a pair of vintage earrings that I've had for a few years. I got these on Etsy. I highly recommend Etsy for all types of jewelry and especially vintage jewelry. They have some of the best selection out there and you can find things from all over the world and really, really gorgeous pieces at a variety of prices. So I, I definitely recommend checking if you're in the market for something costumey and fun. They're the best. And so I wore these because they look like the earrings that she's wearing, but I also love that they play with all of the tones in the outfit. So you've got the gold and then you've also got that beautiful brown color and it just tied everything really nicely together. I love how this looks. And there you have it. I really hope that you liked this and it inspired you. Maybe it gave you some ideas for your own wardrobe and definitely, definitely practice this, especially as you start to get really tired of your wardrobe and we go into like full on winter. I find that really happens for me then. Like, the end of summer and full on winter, I get really bored with my clothes. And this exercise is always, always helpful. So again, I hope you liked this and I would love to know in the comments down below if you have any special requests. Maybe there's an outfit you love that you would love for me to recreate. Please don't hesitate to share it. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.